Hey guys, it's your girl Ashley Kent, and I'm back with another video. Um, this video is going to be an update of something I wanted to tell you guys. Um, and then I have a haul video because um, I picked up some goodies at Target, Walmart, um, and Marshalls. And I'm going to show you two things that I got from my friend Lori for her birthday. I already showed her so I can show you guys. Um, and then I'll be doing a video after this about what I'm reading for the... Well, no, I have to wait till one more book comes in the mail tomorrow. And then I'll do my newts. So I will do like my July wrap up probably with... I'll probably put my July wrap up with my July book haul just to try to like get the videos out for you guys. So, I had made the decision. I was watching videos back... Um, and I was watching all my old videos how I was doing Weight Watchers and I remember how I was happy doing Weight Watchers I could see the, the, the weight I lost in my face um, I was going to Weight Watchers all the time I was making friends and everything um, and I just loved making the update videos and everything and it was working for me then I missed a meeting and I fell off the wagon and then from there I went into a depression. Um, I'm still battling depression. I always battle depression. It's an ongoing thing for me. Um, but then I ended up... Hi, Lori. She just messaged me. Um, then I ended up going into keto, which I did it. I did it. I lost about eight pounds. Um, and then I was looking into doing weight loss surgery. I had an appointment with a weight, with a weight loss doctor next week. Um, I rescheduled that and I believe keto really messed up my body. I believe keto is for some people because I've seen the results and stuff and I've seen the results in me but I'm really it's messed up my body so much to the fact that when I eat food I literally it's not even to the point where like oh I shrunk my stomach so yay me but I feel sick when I eat. Um, I can't eat all I want to do is drink um, and I don't feel healthy. Um, so yeah, and it's not even like, oh, well, she's eating McDonald's, so she's gonna feel gross. No wonder why she says she doesn't feel healthy. No, like I was eating a salad, and I could only eat like not even half the salad, and all I did was drink because I just felt that's all I wanted. All I want to do is drink. I don't want to eat food. I don't want to put food in my body, which is not, which is not okay. Um, so. And keto for me is not sustainable uh, because I love fruit. I miss my watermelon. Um, one thing keto has done for me is I'm so turned off by soda. Soda literally, I haven't had it in over a couple months. No, oh, not a couple months. Say a couple weeks. And now when I drink it, when I drank it, like a couple days ago, literally turned my stomach. Like made my stomach so sick. Um, so yeah, can't have soda. Um, but like I missed being able to have like some carbs and stuff like I missed that um, and have my fruit I love my fruit and Weight Watchers you can have that and people may say it's a gimmick or why are you gonna pay someone to help you know weigh you in I'll pay you know like when somebody commented well I'll you know pay me it's not that it's going there having the people that have gone through it and having that support that's what I like about it so long story short I went to my first Weight Watcher meeting um, so every Friday you'll see Weight Watcher update videos they'll be back on my channel um, if I make Weight Watcher food I'll show you that too um, yeah I signed up for a 12, 12 month commitment so I'm back at it um, yeah I went to my first meeting and I crushed it um, I literally told the lady ladies there. When I went there, though, there was not a lot of people, so I don't know if, if it's just because it's summer or it's just because people are doing keto, so they're not going the way we watch anymore, but my meetings used to be jam-packed. Now, it's literally like 10 people. Like, it was crazy. But I said, hey guys, I'm back. It's been almost a year and I'm back. Um, I just wanted to say I tried doing like the low-carb, no-carb stuff, keto stuff, but I love carbs. And it's not sustainable for me and I'm back and I said I did, did a video diary and I saw the progress I did in the video diary and I saw the results and I knew I needed to come back so I'm back so hi guys <laughs> um do you have my Weight Watcher bag babe? 
Do you have my Weight Watcher bag? The bag from Weight Watchers. Yeah. Can you grab it for me? Um. So yeah. So I um. Yeah. So I went back, told, talked to them. There, everybody, everybody was so nice. But again, there was so many not people were not there. Um. So then this week, uh, the meeting was find awe and activity. Um, so basically get outside and find what gives you awe. Um, I'm not an outdoorsy type person. So for me, I mean, it might sound kind of weird, but my awe, I guess, would be that I like to play the Harry Potter game. Um, I find it fun. Um, I was out today and I was like mailing people's packages because they bought my books. Um, again, if you haven't checked out my um, Instagram, it's on Instagram, bookbabe88, check it out because I'm selling a lot of books at very cheap prices and if you message me, I can do a deal for you. Um, check it out because I'm selling a lot of books um, and I'm still posting more, more books too. Um, but yeah, I was mailing everybody's books off to them and literally like, <laughs> it was cute because I was walking around trying to collect like all the Pokemon, but not Pokemon, um, all the like, what are they called? I can't think of what, what, what they're called. All the confoundables. And like, um, um, he's like, come on, we gotta go. We don't want to miss the bus and it's hot. And I'm like, okay, okay. So I, I guess that, that would be my awe activity, walking around collecting confoundables. Um, but that's what we talked about. I got my way in. Um, I guess I'll say it because I'm not embarrassed and you guys are my family and I can't actually find my book um but I'm not too bad at what I thought I would be um as of weight uh when I started keto I was which is crazy um when I started keto I was 300 and now I am 293 so not too bad um, but I'm definitely going to try to lose and one thing I found out is they said that they did not do I might have to break this up in two parts um they do not do the lifetime member anymore so you don't get to be free membership anymore if you like go past 10% or whatever they don't do that anymore so I guess they're trying to cut costs I guess maybe they lose the money because it's the keto diet I don't know um but yeah so 293 is what i'm trying that's what i'm at now so i'm gonna try to aim to lose that i'm hopefully gonna hope to get five pounds within this week maybe we'll see um one thing i did get i, I picked up something i never buy their snacks and food because i don't know if i'll like it um but they were giving away like free samples so i picked up these oat and mixed berry breakfast cookies um, they gave this away, so I picked up this. And then these were a dollar, so I, I picked up these um, bars. This is a snack bar, apple blueberry and apple mango. I don't know if they sell these anymore. I didn't see them at any in my store, but I picked these up. Like I said, I never eat their snacks because I don't know if I like them. So if I like these, at least I know. So I grabbed that. At the Weight Watcher meeting. Um, we're already at eight minutes. Um, I should be able to, and if I get cut off, then I'll just make another video. Okay, so I went to Marshall's. That was my second stop after a Weight Watchers. And I ended up grabbing, this is a snack that I had on Weight Watchers. I think it's three points. For about uh, one half cup. Well, it says about it says one ounce, which I don't have a scale, which I honestly should buy a scale. But one ounce or about one to one half cup. Um, I just do half a cup. Um, I think it's about like three points, maybe or two points. I have to look it up. I have to actually scan in my app and see. And see. Um, but I actually love these, and this is a good snack for me. And it's the Coney Island Classic Sweet and Salty Kettle Corn with Himalayan Pink Salt. And this whole bag is $1.99 at Marshalls. I literally bought one bag, and before I finished the bag, because I knew I liked it so much, I went back, because you know, you know you go weigh in every Friday. 
I went back to Monsters and bought another bag because it was so good. And again, it's $1.99. I'll even show it to you. $1.99. Um, it's 140 calories, um, 20, 220 milligrams of salt. 18 grams of carbs, 7 grams of sugar, so not the greatest snack, but for points wise, and you want a little bit of a snack, which is what I do, I I always portion these out, so I have them to like grab and go, if I want something sugary, it's better than having a candy bar, and then I grabbed these, um, because I'm, re I'm really trying to budget my money, so I like allow myself, like, $20 each day when I go out um, so this was part of my $20 budget and it was $6 on sale I don't know what the retail price was let me see if I can I always like to see if I get a deal I'm one of those like try to be good shoppers but I don't think I'm going to be able to take off the tag and show you because if it's like 2 bucks I saved I mean that's not really I mean it's still savings but not the greatest savings. Hold on. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the price off to show you. I don't know if I should have done this before. Okay, it was originally $9.99. So, I mean, and then, and then it went down to 8 and I got it for 6 So, I got a good deal on them. They are called Zo Zoo. It's N. No, Nova, I don't know how to say it, N-O-V-O-G-R-A-T-Z, home, set of eight. And they're cute little plates, and I got them because one trick I've learned, being a Weight Watchers and trying to lose weight, is you want a smaller plate so it looks like you have a more food. So, I'll take these little things off so you can see. It's a unicorn and it's doing the floss and the dab and I think it's just so cute. Um, I don't think they're microwave safe, but they are dishwasher safe. See so yeah, how the dude is doing the floss and the dab and that's so cute because again it's a smaller plate so I can have like my chicken, my broccoli, and like my mashed potatoes if I so choose or rice and it will look like I'm having a lot because my plate's so big. And my food's all filled up, but honestly, it's a small plate. There's the watermelon and stuff, and you get eight of them. And I paid six bucks, so six bucks for eight plates. I think that was a good deal. And they're so cute. They had pandas doing dabs and everything, but hubby said the unicorns might have handled me, so the unicorn. So that was the first stop after Weight Watchers. It's Marshall. Um, nah, I spent out of my $20. Then went to Target and Eva went, not a little quick right, because it actually was pretty good. Um, I'll save my exciting fun for last. Uh, but I did grab some cute $1 ice cream socks. It says, it's never too cold for ice cream. Hope these fit my feet. I always love little socks like this. I like the ankle ones, but I saw these, so hopefully these ones will fit for a dollar. Um, I grabbed two of these. These were a dollar. Um, and they are the Cat in the Hat Dr. Seuss tape. And the reason why I got this is because this one right here, if I can't still focus, and this one right here is measuring tape. And I use that for when I do my, my, my weigh-ins on Friday. I'll tape that at my Hobonichi and I'll do that for Friday. So that's why I got those two. And then those are things I can't show you because those are for Lori. Then I picked myself up these magnetic bookmarks. It says, I can do anything. Reading is my superpower. Reading superstar, show your true colors. Hang out with a good book and be fearless. Really cute magnetic bookmarks. I got that one and then I got reading gives you an, a leg up. Dive into a book. Show your stripes. Read for the stars. Readers are leaders and be you. Oh, sorry, wrong side. 
really cute bookmarks at Target at the dollar spot, I have to say. And then, just because for me, it may seem childish, but I actually love to eat with kids' forks because it, it makes me eat slower. So I picked up a bag of kids' utensils. This is from the Pillow Fort brand. It was like three bucks. So I picked up that. And then this item I can show because I got this for myself and I got it for my friend Lori for her birthday. And it is called Calling All Witches, a girl, the girls who left their mark on the wizarding world. Definitely, if you love Harry Potter, run to your Target and buy this right now. I fell in love with this book when I saw it. It literally has all the witches from Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. It has, let me show you one. It has Professor McGonagall, Dolores Umbridge. Um, I'm reading this for the newts. Definitely reading this for the newts. Alice Longbottom, Long Lily Potter, Molly Weasley. Um, Tina Goldstein's in here. Um... The Battle of, of, at the Burrows. Yeah, see this Tina Goldstein. In this book, I got a steal of a deal. It was $14.99. Target was selling it for $11. I got two books. One for me, one for Lori for her, her birthday. For the price of one. It's 6 bucks on Amazon right now. Price match it with Amazon at Target. Six bucks. I paid for these for two books. Six bucks each. So I got one for Lori and one for me. And that's what I'm going to be reading for the news. Because that, oh, I'm so happy to find that book. Alright, now on to Walmart. We a girl did some damage. First thing, I got Lori some Harry Potter book, Harry Potter stickers, which I already showed her. So again, I can show you guys. These cute little, it's from Hallmark. I think it's from Hallmark. Yeah, Hallmark. Because I was trying to get her ones from Target and I totally spaced out getting them. So I ran to Walmart and I saw the last one that I saw and grabbed her these because she wants to, to, to journal with them. So I got her some. Really cute. There's my name, Man Hagrid. Very, very cute. I always put these on my cell phone to make cell phone cases. Since I have a new phone, you'll definitely see that. Um, I picked up some bubble wrap because I picked up bubble wrap and a little box, um, like a mug box because I am selling my, it's already bought so if you want it, it's already bought, but a little box for my mug, my fairy loot mug, whenever fairy loot gets here, um, again, when fairy loot gets here and I do an unboxing, I will definitely do a video on that because my Pre, my box has been in pre-shipment since July 18th. They lost the box, a whole bunch of U.S. shipments. They lost their boxes, and they're going to be shipping them out at the beginning of next week. That's horrible customer service, so I'm done with it. But I digress. Um, but yeah, so I ended up trading um, a girl, my Harry Potter, and I'm in my uh, clockwork... Shadowhunter mug, so I had to get that. I picked up for me Harry Potter eraser. I know it's an eraser and I don't need it, it's like I don't really need to use it, but I'm gonna put it on my shelf. It was so cute. It was one buck, so really cute. Which a portal eraser, excited migraine because your girl gets migraines like anything. Um, propel because it was cheaper to buy this, honestly, in the packets. Then buy the actual bottles. Oh, I picked up uh, Nectarine Prosecco because uh, I love wax melts. I honestly need to get the Happy Wax Melter because I keep burning myself on my traditional waxer because I scoop out the wax with a spoon to put it back in here and I burn my hand all the time. But this smells amazing. Look at that. Um, I got some more mailing envelopes to mail stuff to mail more books if people buy any. I got the letter size document holder by Pen and Gear. 
this really pretty like rainbowy color. Uh, this is going to be to put all of my um, Weight Watcher stuff in. Like all the flyers and stuff. This is, they're still giving flyers out. So all the stuff I get from Weight Watchers I'm putting here. Um, I got a B. I don't know it was all scraped up today. Be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet. Uh, because I want to start budgeting and knowing where all my money and my fiance's money is going. So that's what this notebook is for. So like that. And then the last thing I got, which is the reason why I went to Walmart, besides all the taxables we got, but you don't want to see dog food and cat food, is this. It is a traveler's notebook. The two, ones, two inserts, 140 weekly pages, 140 dot pages, 280 pages combined. Uh, they had different ones there, um, but this is the one I wanted. I'll show you why in a minute. Um, it was $6.47, I believe. Uh, they had, I've seen everybody with their, not full cheese, but their, um, oh god, my friend Laura has a traveler's notebook. I can't think of what it's called. Foxy Fix? Not Foxy Fix. Oh my gosh, she has them all the time. And I'm boxing them all the time I see them. I can't think of the name of it. So it's not a Foxy Fix, but it's another one that she has them all the time that she does unboxings with them. Um, but they're Traveler's Notebooks. And I'm in I, I was thinking about maybe getting one or getting into Traveler's Notebooks. The reason is I want to track my points from Weight Watchers. And I know you can do it in the app, but for me, I'm more of like a... I want to track, oh, uh, Chick Sparrow, that's what it is, Chick Sparrow. I want to track, like, old fashioned, I guess you could say, writing everything down, seeing everything, seeing how I'm doing, and I also want a bullet journal, like, my achievements that I've done, how I feel that day and everything. So, I was like, well, maybe a travel journal will, will be good. So, I was looking at them, looking at them, and I, and I was finding, like, regular journals, it wasn't working, and then I found, I saw online, they did this. Which I think is awesome that they're starting to get into the travel journal thing. The only thing is, I cannot find any pen and gear notebooks when I was there. Because I guess that's the only ones that work in here because of the, how the size is. But it has an elastic loop. I chose the pink one. The reason why I chose the pink one is because of how the inserts were. Because um, there's different inserts that go with it. There's three card slots. And then there's two notebooks. Let's see. There's a gray one. And there's a pink one with stripes. The gray one is your weekly. And I'll show it to you in a minute. It looks just like this. It has 140 weeklies. And it's undated. So I'm going to definitely put down like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and Monday. Like it has Monday through Sunday on here, which I think is really cool. And then your other one is just dotted. Just like a regular bullet journal. Can you see the dots? And then there's four strings, so you have more strings, if you can see them. You have, I don't know what's coming out. You have more strings to add more notebooks in. Um, but I couldn't find any notebooks when I was there to put in. So if you guys have this notebook or have any suggestions of what I can do to put more notebooks in, let me know. I know that was dirty. Um, let me know, because I don't know what to actually put in here. Um, for like actual note for notebooks. Because Five Below had one, but it wasn't like this. It was kind of like punched. So let me know what you guys have for options for this, because I'm not exactly sure what I can use for notebooks. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do to track all my points and stuff. I think that's all. I'm out of breath. Um, yeah, that's everything I got. I'm definitely going to be on uh, doing another video for you guys. So you'll see me on the next video doing my July, <sighs> July wrap up and July book haul. All right guys, like I always say, keep calm, read, shop on, and be kind and speak to each other. Bye guys.